That is just a... the last time you slept with someone. Buster. What time and where? Meanwhile, Lindsay was helping George Michael with his homework. Oh, come on, let's do something. It's just a stupid essay. No, I can't. I don't want to let down Miss Barely. She's nice, you know? She's interesting. And pretty. Well, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I guess there's just some things you can't really say to your dad. Uh, sounds like you'd like her to be more than just your teacher. Lindsay believed that George Michael wanted to fix up his father so he could fill the role of his mother. There's nothing wrong with that. Although, I must say I'm a little hurt that you haven't considered me. You're my aunt. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Aunts can fill that role. Teachers can fill that role. And someday, you're going to find the right woman to fill that role. But until then, I'll be right across the hall. Lindsay had never been more proud of anything she had said in her entire life. Yikes. Meanwhile, Job was waiting for Michael to show up. Oh, there he is. Michael, yes. This is Shannon, the girl I've been telling you all yes. about. Girl indeed, young girl. It's a young, young, young girl. Yeah, well, she's 18, so she's like, oh, and this is your date, Nag. Hello, my God. Well, Shannon would have grown up without a chaperone, right. so she's your date. It was clear that Job wasn't offering an olive branch at all and, in fact, was still harboring some resentment over Marta. Oh, <laughs> Nagarma, you've got a mustache. Hey. I mean, you've got milk on your mustache. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you've got a milk mustache. Yeah, it's, 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 it's adorable. You, you look like one of those got milk models. <laughs> but Job mistook Michael's basic human decency for romantic interest and felt a competitive urge to step in. Well, yeah, you know, it's beyond adorable and, and exotic. I find you very attractive. Really? And George Sr. was about to get a surprise visitor. Mr. Bloom, I'm Cindy Light Bloom. I studied all your teachings, and I purchased every tape, and I watch them over and over. George Sr. had recently marketed a line of self-help tapes, touting his newly discovered spirituality. I've also lost four pounds on your low-carb blue banana jail bars. <laughs> I've come to learn at your feet. Place to start. 